Fall officially begins this week, as Tony mentioned, but prepare yourself. You may not see the usual fall foliage for long this year. The summer's lack of rain and invasion of gypsy moths are two major reasons you'll be seeing more brown instead of red, orange, or yellow. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo explains, new at 530. There are a number of factors which could all play a big role in how colorful the fall foliage will be this autumn in southern New England. There are tinges of color on some trees, but most of the leaves remain green. However, Keith Killingbeck, a biological sciences professor at URI, said that leaves could already be changing just a bit. The green is starting to peel back a little bit. A few things have been working against vibrant colors this fall. The gypsy moth infestation, the defoliation that we had in, in June is going to have a major impact. Killingbeck tracks certain trees in the area. Some were hit badly by the caterpillars. The canopy itself is, it's not barren, but it's about half or less of what it normally would be. You can see right through many trees and fewer leaves means less color. In addition, parts of the area have rainfall deficits of 5 to 10 inches since the spring. The deficit of rainfall that we've had during the growing season, that certainly, especially with, in combination with the uh, insect herbivory, um, stresses trees. Temperature is the other big issue here. Warm weather will decrease the color intensity. Trees need cooler weather and sunshine to help break down the chlorophyll, which gives the leaves the green color. I would be absolutely amazed if uh, there wasn't some color. It might not be as colorful a fall as we often have. And if you're planning on going up north to do a little leaf peeping this autumn, your best bets, the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont and the Presidential Range of New Hampshire. With the South County Mobile Newsroom, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.